Hayesk rolled through and picked up the fall. Gold medal match underway. Abu Bakir Abakarov, Miles Amin. Amin jumping in first on the left leg, has it right above the knee. This will be a stalemate. 19 seconds in, no score. Amin, San Marino in the red. Abakarov, Azerbaijan in the blue. New attention. Azerbaijan, your current team leader right now. Keep that in mind as well. Russian Wrestling Federation swept all three titles last year, men's and women's freestyle, Greco-Roman. They are not in attendance. Azerbaijan, your team leader, 116 points. Georgia second, Armenia and Turkey round out the top four. Not something you see too often, but North Macedonia sitting in the top 10, currently at sixth with 47 points. They lead Poland by one point, so after Jerzyzanski's bronze medal, they're gonna slip down one place. Amin comes back in on the leg and he will get the one. Bakarov on the step out. Couple of good shots by Miles Amin. So are they gonna give one for the step out and one for fling the hold? So a takedown and fling the hold, which will put Abakarov back down. But this is, Miles Amin doesn't make his money here. He's not worried about the parterre position. He's improved so much over the years. It's been impressive to see his international rise to an Olympic bronze medal. Been extremely impressed. Yeah, you look at his progression as Abakarov is able to get on the board for the first time. He'll try to hook something up near the pack area, give up on that. But yeah, you look at Amin steadily getting better. Ninth at the Europeans in 19. It was the 2020 European Championship runner-up. Lost to the Russian Wrestling Federation that year. Fifth at the World Championships in 19. He brought home a bronze at these Continentals a year ago. And then, of course, the, the great run in Tokyo, bringing home the Olympic bronze medal. Man, in 2019, he lost to Hassan Yazdani Chirati out of the Islamic Republic of Iran in the semifinals and then dropped against Artur Naifanov in the bronze medal match to qualify. And then you fast forward to the Olympic Games and his only loss was to David Taylor. And those three are clearly, I'd put Yazdani and David Taylor in tier number one. And I'd put Amin and Naifanov in tier number two here at 86 kilos. But he's, he's clearly one of the best four wrestlers at this weight class. Potentially dangerous there. The referee jumping in. Amin's knee bent awkwardly. 22 seconds to go. First period. Three to two. Amin, Sam Marino. He had to battle back to win yesterday. Fell behind early. Amin cornered by one of the greats of all time, Sergei Belaglazov, two time Olympic champion, six time world champion. And he potentially could. I mean, most people think when the Soviet Union boycotted the Olympic Games, he would have been, had they not have boycotted, he would have been a three-time Olympic champion, six-time world champion. Not many better. And it must be tough traveling with him because every time I see him, he's shaking someone's hand. <laughs> One of those guys that knows everybody. So anywhere you go, people want to shake the hand of the goat. There is a crowd around him at every airport. Second period underway. Tight one as expected. Abakarov getting the takedown late in the first period. Amin with the two and then the fleeing the mat. That's why the caution is up there by Azerbaijan. Three to two, Amin. 
period two underway. Gold medal, 86 kilos on the third night of competition from Budapest. We should mention, if Miles Amin happens to win this bout, it would be the first time an athlete from San Marino would become a European Recognition. champion. He has pulled a lot of firsts for San Marino in his short time, hasn't he? First time European Games medalist, first time European medalist, first time European finalist, first time Olympic medalist. San Marino's Athlete of the Year a few years ago. Miles' mother's grandfather was a citizen of San Marino, and here comes a Bakarov, and he will grab his first lead of the day. Four to three for Azerbaijan as we hit the two minute mark. Bakarov leaning in before the whistle. Undefeated here in 2022, Abu Bakir Abakarov. Won the European Championship in Bulgaria earlier this month. He was a bronze medalist at the World Championships in Oslo last year. Several medals, including a Cadet World Championship from the past as well. Tall, lanky wrestler. Has scored four unanswered points on a mean halfway through this final period. Kind of overstretched himself, the counter by Amin, and he'll get the two and grab the lead right back. Misdirection for Amin. Rolls him over, exposes for two more, and Amin goes up seven to four. That's your red. Just an awkward that's shot that's by Abakarov, and Amin was able to take full advantage of it. Started right, came back left, and Abubakarov just lost. Amin had no clue where he was. Looks like Azerbaijan's gonna challenge the, challenge the exposure. It has been a busy night for Mr. Antonio Silvestri as they take another look. So will we. Here is Amin just continuing to circle, circle. Established control here for the takedown. That's the two, so that at the time made it five to four. Now the question is, was there exposure there with that turn for two? Referee said yes. Azerbaijan says no. We'll find out what the replay panel says. I would say if anything, this would have been Abakarov's move. As he pinched that leg and tried to hip over. Not sure what the right hand of Miles Amin is doing. If he had a half on that right side and controlled parterre, then I think that would warrant the two, but Challenge decision in parter position, red, a blue start the action, no danger position, no two points, challenge one. Smart challenge. Azerbaijan wins the challenge. The initial two only for Amin. He does grab the lead though. 5-4 miles Amin, 60 seconds to a gold medal. And this is where he thrives. Amin back into the single, switches to the two. Comes right back down, clamps on that left leg, elevates it up, looks for that back trip. Hopping up into the air is Abakarov. Attention, Blue. Abakarov surviving here. Amin relentless on the hunt. Now a switch to the right leg. He's going to try to drag the Tall wrestler from Azerbaijan back in, picks up the trip, switches to the two, and he will get the two on the edge. Relentless, a great word to use. And this is what we would have liked to see out of Frank Chimizo. Continue with your foot on the gas pedal, even though you're leading. 
we will have another discussion. This time it's just with the Matt chairman, the judge and the referee, three person officiating crew in international wrestling. That's the judge and the referee standing up. They're going over to talk to the Matt chairman. Making sure the score and everybody is on the same page. A little bit of separation now for Amin and Sam Marino. Etching a little bit closer to history. For the tiny country that Amin has put on the wrestling map with his efforts. That's on. Abakarov looks one final time That's at the clock. On. Not seeing a lot of time up there. Short time, Abakarov shoots in. Amin steps out. It's 9-5. Down to five, and a quick whistle from the referee and a warning. Okay, contact. Both of these wrestlers have excelled here in March. And for the first time in San Marino history, a European championship is coming home. Miles Amin wins. <laughs> Nine to five.